So we are here in the simulator. I'm gonna get you guys in chat. We're gonna do some chat polls. You guys are gonna pick the plane and you're gonna pick the challenge. And then I'm gonna have maximum of three attempts to do it while we're live right now. We'll do a couple of them depending on how long they last and depending on how irritated I get. So let's do it. Give me some options. Start spitting out options, guys. What challenges can we do? New poll. So this is where to land and then we'll do the plan. Plane. Stadium. Then what else? What else we got? Saba. Okay. I see Lukla. Okay. Two more. Corsavelle. Okay. Last one. Land one that you landed in the heli, the helipad with the Concord. Okay. So helipad. Okay. So here are landing options. Y'all voting this. You're going to have one minute to vote and then we'll, um, and then we'll take it from there. Okay. Let's view the results. Who's winning? Okay. Helipad is winning by a long shot. Okay. So we're going to the Japanese helipad that I've done a few videos on. Okay. That's our landing. Now we need what plane are we doing? What is the plane that we're doing guys? Which plane? Okay. AN-225. Okay. So people are saying AN-225. Uh, 737-600. Okay. Um, F-14 helicopter beluga. B-2. Oh, B-2 is good because it just got added. Okay. C-130. Okay. C-130. One more. Well, I'll do 747 because I see that a lot. Okay. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. View results. Which plane do y'all want? Ooh, it's close. 747 to A and 25 are close. Okay, make sure you keep voting. I'll let it go the whole way since this one's closer, okay? Okay, I think uh, the AN is winning, which is unfortunate because I don't like flying this thing, but hey. 2,000 years later. Here we go. AN-225, helipad landing. First try is no headwind, no nothing. We're going to see what we can do here, okay? I have, do have lightweight, though, just to be fair. The issue is going to be finding the perfect, like, position here. Here we go. Yeah, we're off-center a lot. Actually kind of hit it at the right point though. I did kind of hit it at the right point. Okay, we're gonna go around and try it again. We'll try headwind this time though. Okay, 30 knots of headwind. Helipad landing attempt, we'll see what happens. Hey, look, we're flying at 128 knots. This is good. This is kind of what I need to happen here. After this, we'll try like 100 knots of headwind and then we'll just see. I feel like 30 is probably not enough. I don't know, what did I do in the original video that I did this, guys? Okay, here we go. I'll put spoilers out. Oh, that was actually, that actually might, if I had landed earlier, that might have done it. That actually was kind of, was kind of exactly what I needed. Okay, spoilers away. Let's get our gear out. I really hope, I know I could like, that one was actually such a good attempt. I should have put the spoilers out a little bit earlier. So we kind of fall faster, but I didn't. That was dumb. We can definitely do this, you know? Like, look how, I'm like not even moving. It's taking me like 10 minutes to go like a mile. So come on, baby. Oh, don't do that. Don't lag. Please, for the love of God, please don't do that. <gasps> Third try, baby. Third try. Y'all thought I couldn't do it. Third try. Y'all thought I couldn't do it. Third try, 46 nods of headwind. Sugma. Sugma. That's all I'm saying. You believed in me, did you? That was pretty good, guys. Okay, next. Y'all get to pick another challenge. What do y'all want to do next? Okay, new poll. So first we're picking where am I landing and then we'll pick the plane, okay? So you can pick an airport. You can say, you know, I don't know. Whatever challenge you can think of. A helipad? Not, well, not another helipad because we just did it. Where to land? Stadium. Everyone's spamming 9-11 in TikTok, bruh. Sabo. Okay, we got Sabo. We got to put Sabo on there, you know? Uh, carrier. I don't know why I'm doing all caps on some and not the other. Mountain Air. Ooh, Mountain Air is such a cool airport. Y'all should pick that, honestly. You really should. St. Bart's. Okay, there you go. There's your options, guys. Stadium, Saba, Carrier, Mountain Air, St. Bart's. Go. Ooh, Carrier and Mountain Air. Ooh, I love Mountain Air. Mountain Air is cool. Hey, y'all y'all are voting. This is not me anymore. Okay, so Aircraft Carrier has won. Now, let's do new poll and say which plane. So here are options we have 777, 747, C-17, C-130, 737. Actually, let, let me put an A320 in there just because we have no Airbus. You know, we had like three, you know, we, we need some Airbus. Okay, start poll. Everyone answer. Okay, 777 has won. So we have aircraft carrier 777 landing. Let's do it. First try, no headwind, no nothing. And then we will uh, see what happens. Okay, I don't know if I'll be able to slow down enough. We may have to go back again, but we'll see. Here we go. First attempt, no headwind, no nothing. Hopefully I don't hit the edge of the, the ship. That's what I'm... What is that C-17 doing, dude? Okay, here we go. Oh, we're landing so late. Oh, we're landing so late. Oh, we're landing so late. 
Yep, that is uh, that is uh, horrendous. Should I try one more with no headwind? Because I feel like uh, that was just a bad a bad approach, a bad everything, you know? We'll try one more with no headwind because that was just bad. That was just bad altogether, you know? Second attempt, this is also no headwind. I'm just trying to hit the de- Oh my gosh, this is going to make it impossible, bro. This is actually going to make it impossible. Oh my. I hate you, bro. How am I supposed to deal with that, man? And nope. Okay. 40 knots of headwind. We're at 97 degrees. 40 knots of headwind. Let's see. Here we go. Now we got all the headwind in the world. And I know I can do it with this. Just how many tries is it going to take? You know? 132 knots. Here we are. C17 crashing into the water. There we go. Easy. Easy. Oh! With plenty of space to spare. With plenty of space to spare. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I didn't even use half of it. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with that. That was definitely my best attempt there. If I had done that attempt on one with no headwind, I think it would have been close. New challenge now, guys. New challenge. Here we go. Y'all can vote again. New poll. First of all, where to land? Where are we going to land? Start saying wherever you think you want me to land. Saba, St. Bart's, uh, I don't know. Simcoe Airfield? Simcoe? You have to give me a code. Mountain Air, okay. Mountain Air. Lukla. Lukla. What else we got? Inside of a volcano. I'd have to find a volcano. That's the issue. Charlotte, Saba. Okay, I'll put Saba. Courchevel. Okay, let's do that. There we go. Some iconic runways in here, guys. Walmart parking lot. Some iconic runways. Okay, everyone vote. Everyone vote, everyone vote, everyone vote. Mountain Air's winning, what? That's actually shocking to me. Okay, Mountain Air has won. Mountain Air is a super cool runway if you don't know what it is. Um, you're about to find out, so get ready. Oh yeah, we also need the plane. What plane do y'all want? New pole, which plane? This is Mountain Air, so this is not nearly as hard as the other ones. You know what I mean? So which plane? C-17, okay, I'll do C-17. I don't do, I don't wanna make it too easy. A320, 747 definitely, we can put on there. Dark, yeah, I could put Dark Star, that would suck. B-52, okay. 767, okay, there we go. That's good enough. Actually, we need a, we need an Airbus. Um, I don't know if we can, we can do an A3, I'll put A320. I feel like we need an Airbus on there, you know? Dark Star, y'all really pick the Dark Star, bro. Y'all really pick the Dark Star, man. That's the worst possible. <laughs> this should be interesting, okay. So, if y'all don't know what uh, Mountain Air looks like, this is it. It's a little runway as the name would suggest, on top of a mountain. And um, I want to say it's 2,000 and some feet. Who's afterburner is that? Goodness gracious. I want to say it's 2,000 and some uh, feet. But with the Dark Star, it should not be that easy. Eurofighter, can you go away? Oh my god, bro. This man is loud. We'll take off. We'll take off, because why not? I can't even see anything. We'll, we'll use the uh, display here instead of, instead of my actual eyeballs. Okay. So that's where we're landing. Um, we're gonna land from this direction because I think it's slightly uphill. So theoretically that's easier, but uh, let's see what happens. Okay, gear out. Let's see. We're gonna have to get my, uh, I don't know. This is gonna be interesting. Going to be interesting. Can't even see the dang airport, dude. I'm about to ban Eurofighter, man. Holy balls, this plane's so loud. I, that's another thing that's irritating is the sim doesn't like master the volume of the planes. Some planes are just way too loud. I don't really know why. Okay, here we go. Dark Star, Mountain Air, coming from a horrendous angle. Oh, here comes the Eurofighter again, bro. Absolutely horrendous angle. This might actually, might be able to do it first try. Oh! Okay, well, I just stalled right... Right before approach, I stall. We're doing it with no headwind. No headwind, bro. Okay, here we go. Don't stall on approach, Aaron. Please, don't stall. That's all you gotta do. The Dark Star is pretty, at low speeds, it's like, sometimes it feels, you get, you're like, oh, okay, I kind of understand how it's gonna act. And then it just does some wacky crap that you've never seen. And it like stalls at a speed that you wouldn't think it would stall at or something. I'm adding a little power because I think there might be a, some weird wind going on there. Get on the ground. Telling you, man, the Dark Star it just doesn't stop. This is why I told you it was going to be more difficult than it seems. The Dark Star just does not stop. I can definitely do it with no headwind, though. I, I'm not. I'm not allowing myself headwind. We can't do it, guys. Come on. I did use the speed brakes. There, it just literally just turns the. Like, did you see? I was close to the speed I stalled before, but I couldn't get down. It didn't want to. It didn't want to get down. I don't know. It's annoying. Third time's the charm. No headwind.
Stop! It's full brakes, man. I'm telling you, the brakes are so bad! Stop! Oh my, thank the Lord. Oh, that was frustrating. That was harder than the other ones. We landed, uh, we landed a triple seven on an aircraft carrier and that, that was harder than that. So if you guys want to be involved, make sure you come over to Twitch. You can fly with me. You can give me challenges like this and we'll have a good time. I'll see you there.